and welcome to everybody on cloud fitness so in today's video of functions in spark i am going to talk about how we can work with the nested arrays so if we have array inside an array how we can actually format it what we can do to format it so that we can work on that so this is something that is very important because usually we do get such kind of data in real time so it would not be wrong if i say that okay it is a real time scenario video so it is a short video to show you how we can actually work on it so in this particular video we are also going to talk about explode plus flatten function so basically in my first video i talked about collect set right and uh, you know array distinct function and again in the second video i talked about explode function i talked about uh, you know explode outer function so in this particular video i'm going to show you how we can explode nested array how, how we can you know work with array of arrays and we will use explode as well as flatten function so you are going to see a new function over here which is a flatten function so without any further ado let's jump on to the portal and see exactly how does it work so if you look right now I am into the Databricks portal, right? The very first command, you have been watching all of my videos, so you must be already knowing that, that these are simple X, you know, import commands where we try to import some built-in modules and we try, try to directly use them. So for example, explode and flatten, right? So these are built-in functions, right? Which we are simply importing and using it, right? So I'm first importing it from SQL functions and then I'm trying to use it. So let me just run this first cell first and have these imports ready. After that, you can simply say, now this is also something that, you know, all of you who have been watching my videos already know what exactly it is. I'm first trying to mock up some data. So right, if you look at this, this is just the data that I'm trying to build, right? So this is nothing but UK, China, Australia. So this is one row. And in the second row, you can see that I'm trying to build array of array, right? So if you look here, list, right? If I highlight this particular uh, bracket, it closes over here, right? Now, if you look at it, there is a list, right? Inside this list, we have some data. What is the data? This is the data, right? And what is this data? This is nothing, but this is data inside a list. So it becomes list of list or array of array, right? I hope you understood this. And then I'm just trying to give it a schema. Schema here is nothing but, you know, the name of the two uh, columns that we have, which is nothing but, let's say, the country and the fruits, uh, you know, that are grown in that country, for example. We'll just take it as an example. And then I'm just trying to create a data frame out of it, right? I'm just trying to create a data frame out of it using the schema that I have created. And then I'm just simply trying to display it. So now let me just click on this run cell. And the moment I run the cell, you can actually see that this is how my output looks like, right? So if you look at this UK, you can actually see, let me just open it. So the moment I open it, you can actually see that this is an array type, but now inside an array itself, I have an array, right? inside an array itself i have an array also if i open this right you can see that country is a string fruits is an array and each element of the fruit is also an array right and inside that array you have a string so i hope you understood this data structure essentially right so array of an array now we have already discussed about explode function in my previous video i do recommend watching that video previous to this one and then we'll see the command three now. So if you look at this from this particular data frame, so from the top data, I'm just trying to select country, right? The column country and explode of fruits, right? So explode of fruits column, what it will do is now simply let me run it and you can actually see it. It will be, you know, much better. So the moment I explode it, it will explode the arrays, right? We have already seen how explode works. Now you can actually see from this array of array, it has exploded each array. So if you see Australia or uh, let me uh, take this UK. So this is the first list, first array. This is the second array, right? These two array basically gives you fruit array. Now, if I go here, so what it has done, each array it has segregated over here. So you got two arrays over here, right? So China, if you look at it, right, let's, let's go back to the data. China basically has this array and then it has this array, 
two arrays. Now it sum up to the fruit array. Now if I go to China, so basically I have two arrays over here. Right, so this is how explode will work on arrays of array. Now you might say, okay, what is this? I don't want to do it because usually what will happen is if you think logically, this is not something that is going to work. So for you to, uh, you know, uh, play with the data, what you need to do is you should have country, country and all the array of all the arrays or all the data in one place, right? So for example, when you talk about UK, right, you have apple, orange and grapes, right, guava and banana, all of this should come in one list so that then you can do the further processing. So the moment you have it on in one list, right, you can again explode it and you can, you know, do any type of work on top of it, right. So this is just a data transformation that I'm telling you. Now to do that, what you can do is you can do flatten actually. Right, so in this place I've just explained you how explode works, right? It has taken out array of arrays, right? It has taken array from arrays, uh, array of arrays. He has, it has taken array from array of arrays and it has exploded it, right? It has exploded it into multiple rows. But now if I try to use flatten on top of fruits, right? If I try to use flatten, on this fruit column, you will see that everything comes in one array. So let me just run this. So if you see, right, this flatten, same syntax. So syntax wise, it is very good, right? So now if I run this cell, you can you can actually see that this df dot selects. So from the top data frame that I've created, I've created this data frame, right? Now from this data frame, it is going to pick up country and it is going to pick up fruits from here, right? Even In fact, let me take a snippet for even better understanding and now let me go here so now what you can see what flatten has done right so this part was an array of array right now what it has done it has taken all the elements from each array it has taken all the elements right it has taken each element from this array for china for example right so if you see for china it has taken one two three four five one two three Four, five. So all of these five uh, data, five uh, string data types, it has taken and it has put it in one array, right? So this is how flatten works. So flatten actually is very useful when you are trying to work on array of arrays, right? It will simply flatten out your data into a single array, right? It will simply flatten out your data from multiple arrays or from array of arrays to a single array that is the use of flatten. So this flatten also is a very important, uh, you know, function in Spark used on day-to-day -day basis. So I hope you understood this function and you can also implement it on your own. So if you do not implement it on your own, you are never going to get it, right? You're never going to understand it until you implement it on your own right so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe my channel